Before this video starts, please do hit that subscribe button for my main channel because this data shows that many people who watch my videos are not subscribed. A special thanks to Listers Toyota for allowing me to film this URS. For more information, please check the description box below. Apologies for any road noise that intrude into my video. Hello there, this is a full in-depth tour review of this 2021 Toyota Yaris 1.5 Hybrid in the XL trim showing the exterior, engine and interior. The exterior colour is Tyrol Silver. The, the XL trim comes as standard with keyless entry. The interior has partial synthetic leather and grey fabric upholstery with front sport seats. This has a three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. I forgot to show there is a push start button along with keyless entry. For transmissions, the Yaris Hybrid comes exclusively with a ECUT short for electronic continuously variable transmission. There's a beam mode which allows you to drive in braking, regenerative braking mode. If you put the car in reverse, there's a standard reversing camera. This one has front and rear parking sensors. Behind the transmission is an electronic parking brake with an auto hold function. EV mode allows you to drive in pure electric mode, but then to deactivate the traction control and drive mode selection, you can choose between eco, normal and sport modes. Now let's take a look at the exterior, turn on the lights, has a light switch, front and rear fog light, and also open up the fuel flap. This Yaris has blind spot monitoring system as part of the Toyota Safety Sense package. For the wheels, this has 17 inch multi spoke du dual tone alloy rims wrapped in 20545 R17 Ecopia EP150 tyres. This Yaris has automatic LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. This also has automatic high beams. Down below is LED front fog lights. The Toyota Yaris is a subcompact car introduced in 1999 to replace both Toyota models, the Starlet and the Tercel, and has been through four model phases. The Yaris has been an accomplishment for the brand because of its cute looks, endless reliability, and its benchmark self-charging hybrid system. These are the reasons why the Toyota Yaris deserved to win numerous awards including winning European Car of the Year twice. The fourth generation featured in this video was unveiled at an event in two countries in October 2019. Then sales began in early 2020 for Japan and in September 2020 for the rest of the world. The Ritz nameplate used in Japan was dropped due to slow sales in Japan. This latest Yaris is stylish and takes hybrid technology up a level. It is built on Toyota's new GAB platform, planned to be used on smaller Toyota cars in the future. For body styles, the regular Yaris comes only in a 5-door hatchback, while the 3-door hatchback is reserved for the hot hatch GR Yaris.
The latest Toyota Yaris went on sale in the UK in September 2020. The trim levels offered are Icon, Design, Dynamic, Excel and the Launch Edition with pricing starts from £20,000. Also, a batch produced hot hatch GR Yaris available at £30,000. For the design, the Yaris is cute and curvy. I do love the design. For engines, the regular Yaris in the UK comes only as a petrol hybrid, and there's also a hot hatch GR Yaris with 261 horsepower. Under the bonnet is a 1.5 litre inline 3 12 valve dual overhead cam naturally aspirated petrol engine combined with an electric motor. This engine features VVT IE, short for Variable Valve Timing with Intelligence by Electric Motor and Direct Multi Point Injection. This engine produces a combined output of 116 horsepower at 5500 rpm and 120 Nm of torque between 3600 to 4800 rpm. For performance figures, a 0 to 100 km per hour or 0 to 62 miles per hour time in 9.7 seconds and a top speed of 174 km per hour or 108 miles per hour. This Yaris hybrid has combined fuel consumption of 4.3 litres per 100 km or 65.6 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of 98 grams per kilometre based on the WLTP scheme. The Yaris Hybrid is a front wheel drive car. The front doors have hard plastic materials at the top and bottom. There's also this felt like material in the middle. A, huge, a store, small storage area next to the door handle for electric window controls with the drivers having the automatic function in both directions up and down, window lock, central locking, mirror control. This one has power foldable side door mirrors with the automatic function when you lock or unlock the car, they fold in and out. Down below is a huge size door pocket. To the right of the steering wheel column is the switch to adjust the height of the headlights and the button to turn on or off the automatic high beams, bonnet release, automatic transmission to pedals, hybrid door sills, Yaris floor mats, fuel flat release. The driver's seat has four manual adjustments, reclining, height adjustment and sliding. The steering wheel has manual turn to skip it adjustment, adjust it using this lever right here. On the steering wheel, on the white spot is the adaptive cruise control along with the button for the lane departure warning, the button to select between media sources, seat trap buttons. On the left spoke is the these buttons control the multi informational display, Bluetooth button to accept the claw, volume and the voice control, voice command. The right spot is the white controls. The left door is the light fog light indicator control. This one has automatic lights and wipers. For the instrument cluster, the EXO comes with coloured binocular dials along with a 4.2 inch TFT multi informational display. The EXO trim comes as standard with dual zone automatic clamp control, temperature for each side, automatic mode, dual mode, AC with circulation different zones, fan speed, fast eco mode, front and rear defogger, this button turns off the AC. For infotainment, this Yaris comes with a Toyota Touch 2 and Go system. This contains various media options, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built-in sat-nav, and sound is provided via 8 speakers. I can't demonstrate the infotainment system as I don't have the key with me. In the centre is a hazard light switch. Down below the touchscreen is a bit of storage along with two AC vents. Down below this in the centre console is a bit of exposed storage area along with a USB input. 
two cup holders, front centre armrest. The, under that, this is a thin bit of storage. Manual dimming rear view mirror. Front reading lights. SOS button which is covered up so you, you don't accidentally press it. Driver side sun visor, rear vanity mirror and a light. Grip handle for the driver. To summarise this Toyota Yaris's interior, it is a fascinating environment including those coloured dials and all the controls are simple to operate. These seats feel quite comfortable and supportive and there are hard plastic materials on the dashboard. Now let's check out the rear seats. Rear doors have the same materials as the front. Down below is a cup holder storage. Isofix charge seat anchor points on the rear seats. The rear seats do fold down if you need extra space. They do hold, fold down flat but there's a huge ridge there. Now let's check out rear seat space. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got a good amount of leg room and a good amount of head room. I believe tall people or six footers will be tight back in terms of rear seat space. Front seat back pocket for the left side. The transmission tunnel is very low on this one. There's no rear centre armrest, no rear interior lights, grip handles with hooks for each side. Root space in this Yara stands at 286 litres or 947 litres if you fold down the rear seats. Down below this boot floor is a spare tyre. The reversible boot floor has been removed on this one. There's a boot lock on the left to illuminate the area. There's nothing to the right. The front passenger seat has the same adjustments as the driver's side. A small sized glove box. There's also a bit of exposed storage right above. This Yaris comes as standard with 8 airbags. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're interested and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you're later when I upload a new video in the future.